Hi, Genki Call here with some Gems of War secrets for you. So there are some things in the game that you may not figure out until later in the game, or you may not ever figure out because people just don't talk about it, or you're not in a guild, or you're not active in chat. Any of these things can contribute to not knowing about these things, and I'm saving the most important tip for last, so be sure to stay tuned for that. So the first tip that I have for you is something I've gone over before in a separate video, but the first thing I want to go over is weapons that you should not trade. The most notable of which is Essence of Evil. Eff Essence of Evil is a fantastic weapon. You get this for free. I'll link in a video at the end of this video. It'll pop up in the last 15 seconds that will tell you about how to get this and more information on this weapon. But the most important thing here are the upgrades. You don't want to fully upgrade this weapon. This is a matter of opinion, of course, but I recommend that you only temper this weapon up to this level. Only go up to level 9. Do not do the last update hexed. 10% chance to transform the first enemy into a giant toad. No! Now some people like it. Don't get me wrong. Some people like that because when they get transformed into a giant toad, they have fewer, um, fewer stats. So if you're in a high level delve, let's see, giant toad. If you're in a high level delve, um, and the stats drop from 500-ish to 200-ish, that's great, right? Except that if they transform, they get back those stats, those new stats, even if you only had them down to one hit point. It will give them back all of that durability, and that's only part one. Part two is this guy is going to mess with the order of your team, and that can absolutely decimate your team if you're in a delve because you've got a tank up front for a reason if they pull up your weakest troop that's usually your mana gen you're going to flounder and die and i hate it i hate that i fully upgraded this weapon i wish that i had known this tip when i started the game and that's why i'm making this video so the essence of evil isn't the only weapon with this upgrade so you do a search for Hexed, and you can see all of the ones that have those upgrades. Now, I went ahead and up upgraded these three weapons completely on purpose because they're not things I'm going to be using. Generally speaking, I'm never going to use these, but Trick and Treat, you can see I did not fully upgrade this because I don't want my enemy turning into a darned giant toad. Meh, no. Okay, anyway, let me see if that is all of them. Yep, it's all right. Uh, show all. Yeah, this is all of them at the moment. All you have to do is search for the word hexed. Watch out for that. The, the basic principle of this particular video of Gems of War Secrets is to pay attention to what you are trading. The next thing here is going to be something from Vulpicia. I'm just going to go straight to Vulpicia and pull it up that way. It's something that I meant to not fully upgrade, and I accidentally did. Um, that is Void Caller. So Void Caller, you go into More Upgrades, and that button is here. Max Ascensions, Traits, Everything. I clicked on it without thinking about it. I did not want to fully upgrade this troop because I hate Lycanthropy Gems. <sighs> Pay attention to what the traits are before you trait them because you may not like that trait. For instance, if you are going to be going into, um, what's the name of that place? In the underworld, I have already forgotten. Ha ha ha, it is Worm Run. If you're going to be doing pure faction at Worm Run, you might not want to fully trait these troops. Create two skulls when my turn begins. Chance to create a skull when my turn begins. So you might not want to fully trait these troops until you finish the pure faction here. Again, these are matters of opinion and how you like to play the game. But um, there is one troop that absolutely across the board, I don't know anyone who thinks otherwise, you should not fully trait the troop bandit. And I'm going to explain. 
you can see that I do not have this fully traded because I don't want him to be stealthy. This is very, very important. You don't want the bandit to be stealthy because he is a summons. Let me explain. So let me get into the... Where is the... Uh, shoot. I started an explorer. I don't want to do that. Uh, oh, oh, I started at Silverglade. My bad. Hold on. Silverglade. So, I'm going to take my gold farming team in here. This is my favorite gold farming team. I run this on autoplay. Here's the thing. When you're running a team with Cedric, who is stealthy, Egg Thief, who is stealthy, and Hero, you're generally going to run a class with this that has the cunning talent tree. Cunning talent tree will give you the light fingers and it will give you backup chance to summon a bandit when an ally dies. Here's the thing. Right now, this entire team is stealthy. That means none of them are stealthy. If the whole team is stealthy, the enemy team can target any of them. But if only one is stealthy, and that would be your bandit, you're going to count on Cedric dying on this team. Let me get in here. Count on Cedric dying and getting that summons, and then they will only be able to target uh, 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 the bandit. That is the point. So every turn I'm getting some more gold here because I'm running with light fingers. Oh, I hate having her on this team. I do not like her. I don't like the barrier. So uh, basically we're, we want this to die. We don't care if this dies. It may not during this this run that I'm doing here. But if it does, it's okay. We're going to get a summons in. Either we're going to get the backup, which is right here, 35% chance to summon a bandit, or we're going to get a replacement, which is a dragon egg. The dragon egg also is not stealthy, but she is. My hero is, and Cedric is. So that is why anyone you talk to will say, don't fully trait your bandit. Very, very important. I'm going to go ahead and finish off this. This one, please go ahead and kill off my first troop, please. Here, uh, take the skulls. Take the skulls. Uh, please, just take the skulls. I want to g <laughs> I want to give the example, and you're not doing what I need. All right. There you go. There's the bandit. Now, if he was a troop that could actually attack, he, he can't. He just gets armor. But say that he was High King Iron Gut, he would not be able to target any of these troops because they are stealthy. But they can hit him because he's he is not stealthy. That is the whole point of this, um, the reasoning why people will tell you don't trait the bandit. And it's the most important point for this particular video. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Ooh, lots of gold. This is only level 10 too. I uh, hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you folks soon. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Dang! Bummer. All right. See y'all later.